Hey designers, it's Elizabeth from Designer Up, and it's Watch Me Work Wednesday, where I show you how to apply a UI UX resource or tool to your workflow like a professional designer in five minutes or less. This week, we launched our Designer Up shop. We've had so many requests for access to the Notion templates that we use in our product design master course, and we've finally made them available to everyone on our website. So you can grab them over at designerup.co slash shop. In light of this, I thought I'd show you all how I customize the icons and emojis in Notion to make your pages and blocks look more custom. And I'll also introduce you to some of my favorite free hosted icon sets that you can use so it will save you a ton of time. You can download this entire one-click template pack for Notion on our shop, designerup.co slash shop. Here is a sneak peek at the product design template set that we have for product designers. And this basically includes everything that you would need to conduct UX research, collect inspiration, um, create mood boards, and do online surveys. So it's all of the areas that you'll need to fill out as a product designer when you're conducting research, when you're making personas, all of that great stuff. And this is what our students in our product design master course at Designer Up have been using. So it's built on years of feedback from students actually implementing this for learning and in real world projects as product designers. So if you want to learn more about how I made this, check out the other video on our channel and there's a card that should pop up right about now. And I'm just gonna dive into how I added these emoticons. So by default, if you're on Mac and you've created a page, you can click on it and then click on the icon area to bring up the emoji dialog box. And then you can select from an existing one or click on upload an image to choose your own icon set if you have one that you'd like to use. Or the easiest way that doesn't take a lot of effort is to paste a link to an icon that is already hosted. So that's the one I'm gonna show you how to use right now. One of my favorite icon sets is by notion.vip. And this icon set was created by NetLabs and they've curated free to use icons from Icons 8 and Flaticon. And so if you are using dark mode like I am, you can use the toggle at the top to switch over and then you can browse through this collection of awesome icons. And I'm gonna go ahead and look for one for the business section and copy that. So just as simple as that, one click to copy, and I'm gonna go back over to Notion, and I'm gonna head over to the main business plan page in my business section, and then click right on the icon to change the icon, and then click on link and paste in that URL that I just copied and click submit. So once you do that, it will load up, and there you have a perfect custom little icon that shows up well on your dark, uh, background. And if you want to know how I switched over to dark mode, just go to your left hand sidebar, click on settings and members, and then toggle the dark mode switch. So we're back to light, we're back to dark. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. As you can see on light mode, that icon, because it's white disappears. So let's go ahead and toggle the switch back over to light mode and grab ourselves a dark icon and then flip back over, do the same thing, click on link, paste the URL, submit and boom, there it is, a dark icon. So there is another set that I really love and this set was developed by Rajasekar Alongo and you can find it over at notion.erajasekar.com and this is great because you can actually select from a set of colors and then again toggle to light and dark mode and these colors all show up really well on light and dark so let's get a cute green icon here and uh, i don't know this one looks pretty good or let's see how about we do one for our competitive analysis there we go and now i'm going to jump back over here toggle back to dark mode so that we can see what this green icon looks like on dark click on that icon select and paste the link and there we go, super cute little green icon. 
So this is a neat, easy way to customize your Notion workspace, whether you're working in dark mode or light mode and make things look a little more beautiful. And I will keep adding resources to the blog post associated with this video over at designerup.co, so make sure to check it out. If you do try them out, please let me know what you think in the comments or email me an example of how you use them in your work because I will be selecting a few of them to feature on our channel. And make sure you subscribe and get notified so you can see more Watch Me Work Wednesdays. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.